Okay, we're ready to start wrapping this thing up. So, that's the end of uh, work, uh, talk today for SteelCon 2016. Has everybody enjoyed themselves? Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> right, something that we've got to cover, people have been asking, are we going to get bigger next year? Easy answer, no. Complicated answer, no, but we kind of could. So, this room is the biggest lecture theatre in the university. 450 people, that's it, max. The atrium out there where we had lunch and things, health and safety, 450 max. So, that's where we got to this year. Um, obviously, we spread upstairs to the second biggest, the, it's 250, the lecture theatre upstairs, we filled that. Um, options in here, we could spread the, uh, the food and all that kind of stuff, sponsors, up to the top floor, onto the um, Heart Space Cafe, but it would, we think it would mess it up a bit. You don't want to be going up and down to try and find food and people and stuff. We could potentially split over yet another lecture theatre and send you out to Norfolk or out to one of the other buildings. It would work, but again, I don't think it would actually work in practice. People wouldn't enjoy wandering off. You need a lot longer to turn around between talks as well. So, in this building, no. Other venues in Sheffield? Well, at the moment, we're sponsored by Howland University, um, specifically the uh, ACES, which is the computing department. So, we get this at massively reduced costs. If we wanted to move somewhere else, we'd have to pay full price. Options, we've got maybe the cinemas, which would not let us in on a Saturday. Lyceum and the Crucibles, going to cost an absolute fortune. City Hall, which is a brilliant, nice big venue, but it's a stage, and it's just one thing. Again, it wouldn't work. So we have maxed out, as far as we're concerned, the biggest venue that's practical for us in Sheffield. So next year, it will be 450 again, and that's kind of where we're stuck for now on. So when we put the tickets out next year, I don't know how we're going to do it, whether it'll be in batches or whatever, if you want to come along, grab the tickets. This year, we sold the first one within seconds. We sold out adult tickets within just shy of two hours. I think it was a couple of minutes shy. We finished off selling the kids' tickets in under 12 hours. It's about 11 hours, 53. So that was the demand on it. The 25 tickets I dropped on Christmas Day, the first one went in seven minutes, the last one went in under an hour. So, for next year, get those F5s ready, and we will be. We'll give you plenty of notice for dropping them, unless I do ban them on Christmas Day again, or New Year's Day, but that's just for the lucky few. Uh, right, so, mentioned them at the start, I've got to mention them again, all sponsors. I think most of the people up there, certainly the companies, are looking for staff. Uh, I know... They were all getting, uh, talking to people. If you've got a CV, talk to the guys. Hopefully talk to them out there. Talk to them again in the bar. I know a lot of people have got jobs out of coming to conferences like this. It's the perfect time to do it. You bypass recruiters, you get straight to the people who actually care about employing you. So, um, I've got to mention the big ones. Blackberry did the main sponsor. They also put the muffins out there for us. There are still a load of Blackberry muffins out there. Again, sourcing Blackberry muffins with three days notice, 150 of them. Was, uh, was an interesting job, but we managed it. It's all local. We came in from Rotherham this morning. Uh, Netitude and TSL, again, they put on all the food. We over-catered on the food. We've realised that. So we've bundled up what was left that was unopened. That's going off to the Salvation Army, along with some of the uh, muffins that are left. So it shouldn't get wasted. Bar tonight. Uh, we'll come to the party later, but that's, that's thanks to Netitude. Raytheon, for the badges, for the dogs, for the um, Arduinos. They, uh, they made all that lot happen. Pentest, sponsored as well, but Pentest, you've got a competition you want to announce. Do you want to come on up? Uh, is he on? Is he on? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, um, first thing is, <laughs> I'm sorry. So I go back. I go back. We had a, on, a little, little nine-year-old lad came to the stand with his mum earlier on, and uh, his mum was very keen to ask one of our staff to make sure that he was aware that hacking the school, which he'd just done, was 
you know, a little bit naughty and eat to stay on the right side of the track. So, uh, you know, respect. Nine years old. Fantastic. Um, the competition does take quite a lot of effort to write, and I know that uh, there's kind of an expectation now that we keep putting these competitions on to get ever harder to produce. But thanks, first of all, to Padge, who's not here yet, will be here at the bar later, and to uh, Lorenzo, who, uh, between them, put together the challenge today. Um, did anybody manage to get to level five? Because there was a wireless access, there was a wireless access to it too, and we're just assuming that the two guys that um, were working away at the desk were the only two who really got past level four. There's nobody else got past level four, did they? Right, okay. So um, there were two guys who were very, very close. Um, John Williams, uh, who's uh, down there. I don't know if you stand up, John, just say, sorry, James, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> James Williams. So James uh, did really well uh, and was so close to getting to uh, level five, which was the final thing. But, but the winner uh, next to James is Matthew Hall. Uh, Matthew, if you want to come down and collect the prize. <laughs> it's in the bag. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Um, there was so little between the two, by the way. There was literally seconds. And while Matthew got to level four. He was literally a minute away from level five. We had to bring him in here. So uh, thanks again. Cheers. Thanks, guys. What did they win? Oh, it was um, uh, Raspberry Pi and some other ancillary bits and pieces that go with it. You know, pushing the boat out, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Right. Um, the other big sponsor we've had every year, Mad Bob. I think they've gone back to the hotel now, but I was talking to Donna yesterday. They're based in Worcester, and they need some help with their IT, particularly web stuff. So what we've agreed is that if there's anybody around the Worcester area that is interested in helping them out a little bit, voluntary, they will give a lift. There we go, there's potential there. They will give you some kind of locksmithy, lockpicky training, advice, or whatever help in uh, return for it. We will also throw in a um, ticket to next year's conference. So if you go along and help them, it helps them and helps us and gets everything uh, going. So please give them a hand. Um, goodie bags. Some of you have already grabbed some of the left, but we've got, we did have about 50 left. I don't know how many we've got left now, but they're, they're going to be sat outside, zero. Uh, there may not be any goodie bags left outside, <laughs> but if there are, I think we've, we've also got random bits from goodie bags. They'll be down by the reg desk. I don't want to take them home. I have, I've had bits of steel called stuff all over the house for months, and I've actually had stuff for a year. I found some liquor stores, lots of jelly babies that are a year old. So I want to get rid of it all. Please go chuck whatever donation in the tin, take the stuff with you, because it just makes our life easier. Um, the dogs need love. Obviously, everybody's got the dog. If you think you're going to take it home and just stick it in a drawer and never use it or just bin it, we're going to have a couple of collection boxes outside. Any that have been opened are going to go to something like an Oxfam to, uh, to just be given out to uh, anybody or sold for anybody. Any that are still steel, sealed up, they can be given to either the Children's Hospital or Jessup's because they're nice and new and shiny. So we'll be giving those out so if you, if you, we'd love you to keep your dogs, but if you know it's just going to go in a drawer and collect dust or go in the bin, chuck them in the boxes outside, and, uh, and we will make sure they're properly homed. Um, the bookstall for Bliss and Morelands and the raffle. Last count, we were at at least 300 quid, but then we chucked the bag donations on there. So I'm hoping we're hitting about 500 quid for it. So that's going to be just split between the two charities. And again, it will all just go to them uh, in the next few days, hopefully. Last year we got, nine, we got I think, £99.10p, so we got 100 last year. We've got five times that this year, so it's brilliant. Uh, bet you wish you hadn't said that. So I gave out three boxes and three sets earlier, but the guys decided to team up. So rather than just, rather than having three things that needed voting on, do you want to come and help? Well, you can pick it up. I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> so, this was what they came up with. 
I, I said we're going to have a special uh, judge. You're going to come up. Come here. So, got judges. <laughs> Who better to judge a kid's craft competition? So, you're going to have to shout at me with this little bit here. What do you think of it? Is it good? Yes. Yeah. Yes? I think it's good. <laughs> All right. The thumbs up. Yay. Yeah. Good to the camera. Good to the camera. <laughs> right. Go on. Back to mum. Go on. <laughs> right. I got. So, it was supposed to be three of you, and it was being judged, but since you all went together, there is one prize. You're going to have to fight over it. So, there you go. Give it to Shannon. Go on. <laughs> oh, I've dropped the plastic thing. We, I'm not exactly sure why I did it, but when I bought uh, the chest wig for Jess, I bought three of them. So we do have two hairy Jesses left. If somebody wants those for the bar tonight, come and see me. You can have a hairy Jess. <laughs> oh, look at the colour. Uh, yeah, that, that, if, if you missed the opening ceremony this morning... Basically, various people had said various things on Twitter, and I just sort of made them stand up and live up to it. <laughs> that was the, uh, the dog one, uh, the craft one. So, the party tonight, what time are we on there? Half five. We're saying doors are open from about 6.30. It depends when we, when we get down there and stuff. Just go and mooch about in the area or mooch about around here for a bit, and we'll open it as soon as we can. There is food on, I think it's from about 7.00. You'll need your dogs to get in. If you do donate your dogs, take a lanyard. We've still got a box full of lanyards down there, so just take your lanyard down instead. Kids are allowed, but obviously, no booze. Look after them. <laughs> um, do you two want to come up and tell us about the, the other bit? Do you want video? <laughs> yeah? yeah. <laughs> All right. I will shift that. <laughs> Hang on, it's going to give you a mic, possibly. I forgot. very quick at typing it. That's okay. All right. You sure? You sure? Yeah, we can, we can share one. Okay, so uh, Freaky Clown and Jess, we're back again this year to run the scavenger hunt and quiz later. Um, scavenger hunt went a little bit wrong last year. There was a lot of reports of theft, uh, stuff being stolen from Sainsbury's, animal cruelty, people trying to kidnap pigeons, etc. Um, so, so this year, don't break the rules that we set. Don't break the law. That's quite important. Um, of course, trespass is allowed. That's not breaking the law. That's a civil matter. Um, <laughs> um, form yourself into teams of five. This is probably important for the scavenger hunt because one of the prizes that we're going to give away for who wins the scavenger hunt is five extra points for the quiz. Yeah. Um, so teams of five, no more. Otherwise, you're going to lose out on prizes, basically. Um, you get more points if you present the physical object rather than the digital object. That will come apparent in a minute. Um, and you have to present the items at the start of the quiz, which we think we're doing, what, half seven-ish, um, depending on when people get food. So that will be over there. Just come and grab pen and paper um, and then sign up for that. So Jess is going to go through the list of stuff. I suggest you probably take a photograph of this next slide. But you <laughs> have until half past seven to get all of these items. Camera's so out. we will be tweeting um, this list as well. So look out on Twitter. We'll use the hashtag um, SteelCon16. Um, so our list, um, we would like you to come to the start of the quiz and present a painted nail. So you don't have to rip one off someone, especially not me. Um, but we'd like to see a painted nail. Something pink, again, please do not go tearing my hair out. You will not win prizes for that. Um, a Pokemon, something with the word Sheffield on it, but not the word Steelcon. A dice, but not a six-sided one. A four-leaf clover, lucky for some. 
Um, photos of the following street signs. And we've got Arundel Street, Charles Lane, Turner Street, and Trippet Lane. A daisy. A receipt, and you'll get a point for a receipt. You will get a bonus point if you have the lowest value receipt. Um, <laughs> I'm northern, what can I say? Um, <laughs> and a tweet using the following words. Um, in honor of last year, we have retained Pookie. Steel con, awesome, purple, and any computer term of your choosing. If it comes to a tiebreaker, then we are going to select what we think is the most impressive drawing of us. So, <laughs> that's a can of worms. <laughs> Um, go forth, people. Don't break the law. Don't hunt pigeons or any other live uh, creature. And if you do any of that, disclaimer, we're not taking responsibility. So, good luck. And neither are we. <laughs> yes, and neither is Steelcon. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You off? Right. Uh, we've got the raffle draw. So, go on. I don't, I don't have to speak, do I? Go on. Okay, no. <laughs> just, just hold it to your mouth. Hold it. There you go. Hold it. Right. So, I need some fucking mugs. Um, who's going to choose to get out of here? Dave, you have this one. Right, so the first one is for the books. Number one, two, six. We might have a winner down here. It's not Scott, surely. Oh, no, 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 it's not London. One, two, six, anybody? No, they're one, two, six. I'll pick another one. Uh, gone, I've seen. <laughs> one, one, five. One, one, five. <laughs> Winner. Right, so when, when we go out, if you come out to me okay. with your ticket, and we'll give you the, the things. Yeah, cool. Yeah, right, so that's, that's the winner. You got a pen? Just write on, bo on box on that. Right, so next one's for a bottle. Uh, you, well, I picked them. Three, four, 34. Yeah, three and four. Yeah, that's what Right, so that's for the bottle of rum stuff. <laughs> Donated by Cooper, doing the AV. Be careful with it. <laughs> It's a bit. <laughs> <laughs> you might be a bit de delicate, mate. Right. Uh, Mr. Amazon. One zero five. One zero five. Anybody? Nope. Right. So. <laughs> one zero five is for the bottle of wine. This, this is for the ticket for um, O'Reilly's O'Reilly Con, whatever they call it. O'Reilly's Security Con in Amsterdam. It's a ticket for the entrance. It's not to get you over there or hotels or anything, unfortunately. <laughs> so, number nine. Man of Rock Ten at the beginning. Hey, yeah, at the back. Yeah. Uh, you be key. Oh, did you get back to him? He's got one more. All right, so, you have a key. Uh, Scott, come on. Why did I pick myself? No, it's not. 160. Yeah, another one you got. <laughs> no, got, got power win. <laughs> right, for the, for the UB key, see Cooper later in the bar. Right. Do you want this thing back? So I've got to speak in. <laughs> Right. 
Uh, right, where were we? <laughs> uh, it's back to the party thing. That's where it is. If you weren't there last year, there is a map on the next page, but that is what you're looking for. You basically come out the front doors, turn left, turn right, and head to the big, odd-looking building. If you used to be in Sheffield, that used to be the centre for popular music, and then it became something else, and now it's student union hubs. Uh, tomorrow morning, if you've, if you've not signed up, there were a couple of places left. The Quasar, the Les Quest. It, <laughs> yeah. Start, start, is that early or late? Um, yeah, so that's on tomorrow. It is behind the... Where are you staying, Scott? Sorry? You're at the Holiday Inn or Premier Inn? Premier Inn. It's behind the Premier Inn. <laughs> no, it, it's behind the Premier Inn. <laughs> Uh, that's the address if you want it. It's not the one out at Meadow Hall. Don't, if you have to get a bus or a tram or anything like that, you're going too far. <laughs> I phoned it and nearly booked the one at Meadow Hall by accident in the first year. Um, plans. So Laser Quest will finish. Well, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's family friendly, otherwise I'd say. Yeah. Look, but it finished at 12.30, so... <laughs> Yeah, laser quest, and then we'll tweet when we finish, and we'll probably go around the corner to Pizza Hut or something like that. And uh, yeah, just watch out for the on Twitter, and we'll tell you what we're doing. Finally, thanks to the crew. Um, me, Mike, and Neil put this on, and we organise it through the year. It's up and down, lots of work, no work, lots of work, no work. But then when it got to today, uh, the crew kind of took over. Eliza, who was running around like mad, she helped run the crew, and. Um, yeah, they've done a brilliant job, got people in and out of stuff, and looked after the reg desk and all that. So, can we just say a big thank you to the crew for, uh, for looking after it for us. <laughs> and we get special mention, Cooper, how, how long was your drive? Uh, two stretches of four hours. Two stretches of four hours from the Netherlands to get over here to do this with a boot full of kit. Amazing selection of stuff. And he's done this for us. It's, uh, yeah, very good, very much appreciated. Um, see you in the bar tomorrow at Liz Quest or next year. That's it. Go to the bar, enjoy yourself. <laughs>